How to connect your iPod to iTunes without syncing iTunes is a program used to transfer files from a PC to an Apple device, and vice versa. An iPod is an Apple device that is mainly used to listen to music, but you can also add mini games into it in case you get bored with just music. To add music or mini games, your iPod must be connected to iTunes. Once connected, iTunes will automatically sync with your device. However, if you don't want to automatically sync your iPod to iTunes, you can turn off this feature. Steps 1. Connect your iPod and PC. Do so by inserting the smaller end of the USB cord to the iPod and the other end into a USB port of the PC. Usually, when you buy a brand new iPod, the package comes with a USB cord for charging your device or for connecting it to a PC. You can find the USB port at the front or at the back of the CPU, or at the sides, for laptops. 2. Download iTunes if you don't have it yet. If you already have iTunes installed on your computer, proceed to the next step, otherwise, open your browser, and go to. 3. Open iTunes. Do this by double-clicking its icon on your desktop or on your taskbar at the bottom of the screen. You can also wait for iTunes to auto-run, meaning once you connect your iPod to the PC, iTunes opens automatically. 4. Prevent a particular iPod from syncing to iTunes. Once iTunes and your iPod are connected, click on the device button on the upper, right corner of the screen, then select your device. It will take you to the summary tab of your iPod. In the summary tab, just select the option Open iTunes when this device is connected to prevent unprompted syncing for a specific iPod. 5. Prevent all devices from syncing to iTunes. On your iTunes program, click on the Edit button on the upper, left tab of the screen, and choose Preference. From the Preference menu, click on Devices then select Prevent iPods, iPhones, and iPads from syncing automatically. Once this box is selected, any connected iOS device will no longer sync without being prompted.